You ready? Sound speed. Speed. Camera speed. Mark it. Change 74 and take 12. When you're functioning on a low budget film, you realize that you have no time and no money to, uh, to make an epic feature. So you have to make everything as simple as possible. And I was given the opportunity to film at this location and I thought, well, I have to do a period drama. It has to be a period drama, something Edwardian. And we threw around some ideas, Oscar Wilde, The Importance of Being Earnest, um, Picture of Dorian Gray, they were really fantastic options. I love both of those stories. But then I sort of came to an Inspector Calls. I went and saw it while I was doing GCSEs and I, I loved the play and then I started to go, that was all done in one room. That's all done in one night. There's seven actors. Each one, each actor has a single costume each. It suddenly started to make sense to me to do it because I thought we can shoot in a single place with a small group of actors without spending too much on costume or props or, or equipment. So choosing to adapt the play came out of budgetary limits, but also the personal passion and love for the actual play of an inspector calls. La 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 la. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're having your head off. Arm instead of a shoe. That's We've had a role reversal. Ex that's exactly how you should live your life from now on. I'm like scared that. Do they burn? Yeah, but. Just tell me when you're done. Kim. No. The producers showed up and saw me at work and phoned me to say, we think you'd be perfect to pay Mr. Burtling. So. That's how I got the role, basically, and they'd just seen me being me. It's a learning curve. I think I'm surprised at uh, how much that, uh, that actors have to do. I've always assumed you just show up on set, walk on, look wonderful, and walk back off again. Um, and, and clearly learning lines, um, and I've found that quite a learning uh, point, um, is, is very time consuming um, and very difficult. So I, I've, got a, I've got a new respect for actors that uh, I don't think I had beforehand, to be honest. All right, go on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you're going to go through them? I think, I think you will go through them. Yeah. I think you will go through them because... This is a straight line. Well, I think we might go around because I feel that breaking through the middle of them is almost... It almost seems rude. I, I mean, like, if I were to walk and get a dream, I, I don't know if I would go in front of them, especially yeah. if I'm in a situation of yeah, you don't get what I mean. Yeah, you know? I know what you mean. So I think I would go around the back, and, and it might be nice as well if that's, you've that's got some mean. slight over the shoulder looks. Hand. Action. You all know, don't you? Yes. We know. Yeah, I was very attracted to doing this piece. A line of... Um, <laughs> or dialogue line. Well, for, for many reasons. Oh, One being that I do like playing rather controlling matriarchs. And she's definitely that. Thank the other reason was it looked like a great project and a really nice team. And That's it, is it? Use me and then done. And that I was really Zero keen to do a period Zero. drama. Um, I've done quite a lot of, well, I've done a lot of theatre work in, in my time. So for me, this is a bit of a crossover project between doing theatre and film. It's not well, come along, what is it you want to now, know? Now, come along, what is it you want to know? Um, what is it you want to know? No, I can't do that yet, I'm sorry, but he'll have to wait his turn. Now look here, Inspector. He must wait his turn, Mr. Belling. You see? No, I don't. Why don't you be quiet, Sheila? I think the inspector's quite an interesting role, isn't it? Yeah, because he's... he's is, is he... how would you play him? Is he real? Is he not real? But no, I'm really happy to play Mrs. Burling. 
I went for the character. I love historical. I love historical stuff. But um, it doesn't. You know, I do like things with a bit, bit of a twist, which is also why this is interesting to me. But I do like taking a look at. You know, I like imagining or, or entering into a character such as Mrs. Burling, and 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 how is that for for a woman of that period? You know, trying to keep up appearances and what is required to do that. You know, the kind of Control yeah, is needed right. of one's it's gesture, one's poise, one's voice, you know, and how to keep everything very respectable when actually it's not. You know, I mean, that is that is something that really fascinates me, um, which is what fascinates me to this type of role because, yeah, what are they hiding and, and how do they cover it up? I just find that it, it, it makes it makes taking on a role really multi-layered, which I always like. Deliver your first line, yep, and then you're going to give a nice close to the door. Nice slow one. It's in sense it is a student film. Um, you know, some of us are graduates, some of us are still there, um, and then. The actors, a couple of them are volunteers, and a couple of them are people that I've worked with in the past. And then everyone else is just family members that have contributed. Um, the costume designer is my sister, and she made two of the dresses for us, which was amazing. I mean, she did, she nailed that in two weeks. In two weeks. I mean, this whole production has been really rapid, actually, because May was pre-production and planning. June is filming. July will be post-production and we're planning to actually present it in August. So we'll have like six weeks of post-production where editing will be done, sound mixing will be done, composing, com composing music will be done, then it'll be color graded, and then we're gonna try and um, get, it, get it presented in a, in a big cinema setting. Hopefully have a big premiere with red carpet, nice suits and everything. That would be really lovely. <laughs> So excuse me if I don't feel like sitting around and have a nice cozy talk. Cut there. There's a door at the end of the kitchen, go through that on the left hand you know, side. You know the door at the far end. Why did you ask me where the kitchen is? I said, of course I know where the kitchen is. It was a reference point so I could geographically guide you in your mind to yeah. where the laundry room is. Yeah, he's trying to be nice. Isn't it? <laughs> As I always am, and you always shoot me down. <laughs> oh, I, I can turn into Sinister that. Martin if you want. Martin, the nicest thing that you've done for me these two weeks is give me a foot massage. And, and you had to get that's that a pretty camera. nice thing. You I had know. to get that on camera. Know, that was a pretty nice After watching, thing. After watching yeah. Pulp Fiction just two days ago about foot massages, you had to bring that in, didn't you? All kindness. <laughs> I don't think anyone wants to get near your feet. My feet are beautiful, man. They're lovely. And men do not possess beautiful feet. Right. I really love toes. Toes or toenails? Toes. Okay, good. That's yeah, I've got really long toes. <laughs> Pick things up with them. It's nice to see that you've shaved the underneath of your feet today. <laughs> what? That's so great! She, yeah, she's like a hobbit. <laughs> I'm Leona and I'm playing Sheila Burling. Um, she's loads of fun because she's quite different to the characters I usually play. Um, I usually play quite dark characters and this one's actually quite nice so I like it. Um, yeah, I actually, um, actually auditioned for Jason for something else. Um, but then that got shelved. So then he called me a few weeks ago and was like, I've got, got, got an idea for you. So yeah, that's how I got involved. And out of nowhere, <laughs> he just goes... <laughs> You <laughs> 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 need to watch it, it's so funny. Because <laughs> <laughs> he, he's meant to interrupt the inspector. But he went like, a bit over the top. He was oh, I heard it, I heard it. I heard it. I thought he was doing a really violent sneeze. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I heard Full on. I was on sound. Yeah, you were on sound. <laughs> that must have blown your eardrums out. Was in close. You okay, that can, can you can you huh? hear everything? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just sound yesterday when when Martin shouted. How many have you had? Third. It's my third. When Martin shouted, I thought that was loud. Do you want a shot of whiskey? 
Who do you think will set? Oh, look at her. Uh, look at her. It's all some method acting, dude. Woohoo! When you uh, go to pour yourself a whiskey, it's going to actually be with whiskey today. Oh, my God. No. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. This is going to be fun. <laughs> and I think for a really true reaction, you should down it in one. Just <laughs> see it off. <laughs> Just see um, it off. Shit it. Look at the scone. What have you done? I don't know. Oh, I'm down by the end. Are you all sweating? I'm sweating. <coughs> sweating. Um, can I get everyone who is now free to please adjourn back into the room? We have our professional photographers here. Um, so we're going <laughs> to get, gonna gonna get working so we can get some nice Why? behind the scenes stuff. And uh, we may even stage some BTS. <sighs> It all started when I was working on Jason on, a, on another production and I told him if you're ever looking to do a period drama or anything then just give me a shout because I've got this house and it looks very period style and he was like oh yeah that would be great so came out to have a look and he instantly just went movie idea for his final piece at, at uni so this is my first main role as well my first like break into it sort of thing um, so it's actually been pretty fun getting to know the ins and outs of everything on on camera and behind camera and everything I had, a, I had a go at sound the other day because we were, we were crew man down so I had to do sound which is good fun I had a continuity so it's just it's just really fun just interchanging the roles yes that's what happened I don't remember any of this that's the hell of thing I had already had in my mind that I wanted to play Eric, and because Jason's done it before as a play, and he played Gerald, so he had in his head, I'm gonna play Gerald, and he came to me. He said, "Do you want to play Eric?" And I was like, "Yes, yeah, that'd be great." But if I had to play another role, I don't know. I'd love to have a go at Mrs. Burling, <laughs> simply because I just love her just stubbornness. I, yeah, I, I'd love to play <laughs> Mrs. Burling. I just love her stubbornness and just her like aura about everything. She's so just one-minded, just driven. Uh, I just think it'd be, I'd, I'd have a lot of fun with that. In terms of writing it, it's a lot harder than I thought because you think, oh, it's a play, it's a well-established play and everything, they study at GCSE and everything, so everyone knows it. And so I was like, there's so many chunks in there that I don't want to take out and don't want to move around. And I was thinking, but I don't want to just copy and paste and just, yeah, okay, say it's my work because that's just, Boring. Everyone's like, you didn't really write anything, did you? So I wanted to try and make it my own, but stick to the original concept of the of the play. Because we were, obviously we we're going for a, the traditional sense, and I didn't want to ruin anything or take anything away. Like, oh, you should have kept that in there, or this and that. So it was, yeah, there's was, was a fine line. I thought trying to stick to it, but it was it was good fun. A lot of lot of late nights, early morning type things. Which is good fun. We're still doing that. Yeah, we're still doing that. I was told by my, my university, they said, don't, don't make a feature film. They said, don't make a feature film. And I, I said, you know, why not? And they were like, it's too much, it's too ambitious, it's a big project. You're not going to be able to finish it on time. We just, we're all very concerned that you won't get it done. And I said, watch me. Watch me. And you'll be at the table and a steady camera pan around you and it will capture your eyes as you go. Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's one of those heroes shots. You know, I'm talking about like real heavy. Yeah. And I'm, 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 I want you to feel the brutality. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> As long as we've got all the story, which is what we need, those four pages, um, and that includes that in the whole way. But there will be bits that we miss, and it'll just mean that on, on, in the flow of the film, it'll just feel a bit odd. There'll just be several moments where you go like, I wasn't sure what he used. Yeah, these two. That one, that one. That big section. That one. Looks ugly. Mm -hmm.
Can you take your love egg, please? Love egg. Beauty blender. Love, love egg. Ew. It appears the battery's run out in this one. How dare you say that about my beauty blender. And and just go, and like open it. Yeah. I was about to do that to you, but I was like, that would be a big mistake. Like. <laughs> it would be a big mistake. Does it irritate your skin? No, we just had a little rash. Oh, not much. Uh, I first saw a post on Actors UK from Jason and I wrote to him directly and then I had to go through CCP and there was a bit of to and fro and I made myself a, a nice self tape audition uh, which I quite liked and uh, yeah and uh, they cast me it was quite good I, will. I think we have a lot of crew next week right. so we'll have extra hands which would be great there'll be lots going on um, it's been nice having a smaller crew for the time being but uh, we're going to get back to rights after today. It will be full of crew, everyone getting through, back through it. Through it to me? So, yeah. What? I'm really happy with how we are. We're on, we're on track. We filmed lots. I think the bad guy uh, can have more fun. You know what I mean? You, you, you can sort of go really way out with a bad guy. Uh, I am kind of limited to this classic look, but I think if you're playing a, a sinister bad guy with a classic look, it can be quite more... Uh, a lot more scary. I reckon there'll be a day or two next week where you won't be needed. Okay. That'll be good. Oh, that'll be cool. Mm. You can chill. You can chill. Um, there'll be, in fact, there'll be a day I reckon next week where neither you nor Mrs. Burling are needed. Oh my god. So that'll be a major, lovely day off for you. I think, if anything. Then all I've got to do is make Ben look gross. Would I even need to look gross though? I might make you look nice. We have to make you look nice later, yeah. but we have to keep you looking gross for a little while. Um, what I don't want to do is have you looking gross and then get you looking neat and then have you looking gross again. Yeah, so we'll do all the things, yeah, look gross now. Yeah, but then the ideal. looking gross stuff includes your bedroom scene. <coughs> but I actually can't do that until tonight, really, because yeah. it does need to be dark out. Well, we, well, the curtains are pretty thick, so we could just draw them. Well, even if we do it late evening, you know, sort of thing. But it's, yeah. it's no dialogue, it's just you pacing in your room. Yeah. <coughs> Good evening, this is Mr. Gerald Croft of Crofts Limited. The cinematographer is someone I've worked with several times. And his ability is just so high quality and professional. And he's just finished university. So he's, he has just graduated as well. Um, but with, with the kit that he's brought with him and his lighting setup, he is creating really stunning professional shots. And I, I think if, if done properly, this will look like a high quality film. There's no reason not to. There's no reason not to. Other than that, I think that's got to be some of these we can't do because mm -hmm. Mr. Burling's not here. We can if you've got stuff with just that. Mr. Burling, if you've got stuff that you need to pick on with that doesn't have Mrs. Burling, we could pick them up tomorrow. I'm going to tell I'll circle what we can do today. Alright. That we can do today. We need to do the reverse of Mr. Burling, but we can do, we have enough time for both. So. Yeah, okay. Right. Getting back, let's do it again. Sort it. Because we, we, we don't need it for us. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is, for me, my breakthrough film, and I want it to be that. I want it to be a breakthrough for everyone. I mean, Leona and Ben, they're young actors, they've got a lot of potential, and I reckon with this film, it'll be a major credit for them. Going on from this, it will hopefully get them bigger roles, get them more attention. For me, I'm hoping maybe it'll get me some acting roles, but then I'd love to have a shot at directing a budget uh, with a, with more of a budget, um, because this is this is mainly self funded. We've had a few sponsors and a, and we've got an executive producer who's had some finances, but people are chipping in here and there. And I reckon at most we'll spend a thousand pounds on the film, so it's incredibly cheap for a full length film. It's incredibly cheap. This is going to be really tough for you to do, actually, otherwise. Because we can't have you sat at the table, because the steady camera's not going to front of you. 
So, oh, so I'm going to stand up. Unless you move the table. Oh, over there. You just got to cheat it. Will you see my feet? Come on. We'll go through the face. She's up in her room. What the fuck? She's up in her room. Apparently, she's she's come back. This was about an hour ago. Six aspirin in about eight well, crops. Yeah, she's not well, no. If she throws up just in the middle well, of the day. Yeah. Just half a bottle of crops. I thought she was going to come back tomorrow morning. See, yeah. see whether the night takes off. The inspector is infected. <laughs> the infector. <laughs> So obviously one of our actresses has suddenly become very unwell today and we are unable to shoot on her this afternoon therefore it's put a bit of a spanner in the works and that's, I mean it's, it's, it's basically ruined the schedule for today and tomorrow and tomorrow is our last day. So it looks like we're all getting up very early in the morning. Very early in the morning tomorrow. Unless you try and plug it from the main. Isn't that right, Martin? Yeah, you probably are. Yeah. Yeah, I. In about three, two. That was the way it was. It's a bit squiffy. So she let you in? <laughs> Did she let you in? Oh, I was trying to connect something. Can I come in? What's the slate? Can Eric come out and play? Um, Why is that gone on? <laughs> Makes you look like a little gangster rapper. <laughs> Like 80s street crew. Yeah. He looks like he's gonna walk in. Hey Chido! What's going on, Ete? Yeah, I got the van. <laughs> I got the van, man. It's okay, my dad got deported. <laughs> my sister, she did. My wife, she cheated on me. But I got the van. I got the van. <laughs> I really want to know the rest of the songs. <laughs> what were you just doing? Well, I'm <laughs> this guy's in his package, you're looking better. Yeah. Hard to do, I know. I don't want to know how long. You want to know while you were staring at it. Yeah. In my fucking eyeline, man. Really. And then as soon as I get into hair and makeup, they made my hair into Hitler. Which kind of... You do suit Hitler. It's funny enough. Can, can, we, can we cut there? <laughs> <laughs>